Did you know there are Amazon sellers who are selling simple products on Amazon that are literally making a million dollars a month? Well, in today's video, let's look into what products are actually making a million dollars per month. Let's get into it. Okay, y'all, so now that I am in Helium 10, I'm going to their black box tool, and this is a product research tool, and they give you so many different ways, as you can see across the top, to find products to sell that are meeting the filters you are inputting. If you want to just find individual products that are making a million dollars per month, you can stick with the products tab, but eventually, in order to validate a product, you have to assess the keyword data. So I'm actually going to start my product research using Helium 10's black box, but the keywords tab. So normally when you're selling a product, you want to make sure they have many different keywords, like 15 or more, that have over a 1,000 search volume. So I'm putting the minimum search volume at 1,000. Now, as this video says, we want to find products that are making a million dollars per month. So let's go ahead and input $1 million minimum. For the sales price, let's go ahead and put it above $30 because normally if you sell a product that's lower than this price, it's harder to be profitable. So normally minimum 50, or $30 if you can, but like 15 absolute bare minimum, but recommend 30 or higher. And then for the max reviews, this is going to show lower competition products. So I'm putting the max at 1000 and you can choose to use any of these other filters. There's no right or wrong way to search for products. It just depends on what, you know, means opportunity to you. So we're gonna hit search. And now let's organize the results from highest to lowest search volume. Search volume, high to low. So as we know, search volume is gonna show the demand because this is how many times someone is typing in this keyword per month to find this product. So as we can see, there are a ton of different keywords related to walking pad, those under desk treadmills. So this has definitely been a popular product on Amazon and look at these numbers. So search volume, super high, amazing sales price great monthly sales on average, look at this monthly revenue, like people wonder how people become millionaires selling products on Amazon. This is how best seller rank is definitely within the top 15,000. And look at these reviews. So now what I want to do is view this product on Amazon, and we want to dig deeper. So I'm going to open up Helium 10's x-ray tool, and this is going to show me all the top competitors ranking for this keyword so we can assess the data. Okay, so once again, great search volume, great average revenue, great average price, great average BSR, and look at the average reviews. Like this is what you want to see, like a thousand or less, the lower the better. So from here, what I want to do is I want to hide the sponsored post because I do not want to see people paying for their rank. I want to see organic rank. From here, I want to organize the results from lowest to highest bestseller rank because this is how a product's performing for an entire category. So think if you're selling a product in home and kitchen, there are a million different types of products that could be listed under home and kitchen. So if you see the product you're interested in selling ranking in that top 15,000 bestsellers, you know there's demand, especially if there's demand in the search volume as well. Since this first seller has some data that is in A, they could have made some updates to their listing or they could have added new variation. So Helium 10 doesn't have that data yet. So let's go ahead and look at the next top ranking competitor. So we can see their price, their sales, their monthly revenue is over $3 million a month. That is amazing. And then from there, we can see their fees are high, but this is because you have a heavier, larger product. So if you are selling oversized products, it's normally more expensive to store, ship, and fulfill. But if you're a newer seller, you probably want to stick with something simple for your first product. So let's see if they are profitable. We are going to click onto this Amazon listing. We are going to open up Helium 10, and then we are going to go to their profitability calculator. I am going to get their 30-day sales, which is 21,000 and 601. And I'm going to multiply that by their net profit per unit, which is $28.45. And we can see they're making 
$614,548 per month selling this product on Amazon. And the best part about Amazon FBA is that we do not do anything physically. We do everything 100% online. So Amazon is in charge of storing, shipping, fulfilling, all of that. So really, once you get your product up to launch, all you're doing as an Amazon seller is making sure you have an optimized listing, you're optimizing your pay-per-click ads so you can rank organically, and then also managing your inventory and choosing to grow your brand if you want to continue to add products. So that's why I love Amazon FBA. Now, normally, with that being said, you want to sell a product that has a 30% profit margin or higher. I did see their other competitors did have a higher margin. However, they are still doing amazing. So just kind of something to keep in mind. But look how simple that was. Like in a matter of five minutes, I was able to find a product that has high, de high demand, low competition. There are some things to weigh out pros and cons with, with like the size and things like that. And it being an electronic. But still, I was able to find a product like that. And a huge part of being successful with selling on Amazon is adding value or differentiating your products. So one thing you want to start looking through is looking at the top competitors and assessing their offer. So we want to see what all is included. What is their product? You know, what are the materials? You know, all that fun stuff. So for example, this seller, they have a way for you to put a tablet on top of the walking pad, right? So that's a great way to add value. But you go in and you assess these listings and make a list of everything these products and listings are offering. So for example, this seller added value to their product by adding in a color. So you can differentiate by material, size, shape, weight, bundles, add-ons, like features, different benefits. So you really want to research these competitors and say, okay, how can I make my product different or add value to it? And that's where you really see success. You were just copying this exact same product listing offer quality everything and you're just lowballing the price. Someone else is going to have that exact same idea and you're going to have to keep cutting your price and you're going to race to the bottom. So if you can add value to your product and make it a little bit different so it stands out from the top competitors, that is when you can start racing to the top. So differentiation is huge and you get these ideas by doing this research using Helium 10's X-ray tool. And if you want to take it a step deeper, like if you know you love this product, we can go ahead and look through the reviews and see what people loved and what they didn't love about this product. And then that way you have customer feedback from people who actually purchased this product and you know, okay, what did they like? What did they not like? And how can I make it different or add value to it? Go to Helium 10 and then go to their review insights tool, which is going to be at the bottom. Awesome. And now we can start clicking through. So let's start with the low star ratings first and kind of work up. And this could be a great way for you to get ideas on how to make your product different. And oh my gosh, one star, 70%. Okay, so let's sort the one star ratings out first and apply so we can see the issues people had with this walking pad. So let's go through. Someone says it's unsafe. The belt gets off center. So you need to just go through and see what was the issue with this product and then make sure when you're contacting suppliers that you are avoiding these issues from happening with your product. So just another tip for adding value. And one quick note I want to mention is this Helium 10 Chrome extension is actually free. However, some of the data may be blurred out if you do not have a plan. But if you're looking to purchase Helium 10 and try it out for your Amazon business, I do have a discount code, which is FBAK20, 20% 20 off six months. I personally always recommend using the Platinum plan because this gives you access to everything you need. Diamond plan, it's kind of like the bougier option where you actually have access to different types of you know, tools and things like that. The starter, it's great for starting out and trying Helium 10, but you are going to have data blurred out. So just keep that in mind. But I hope y'all found this video helpful. And if y'all have questions, let me know in the comments.